I gotta get my birth control. Gotta have that. Hey guys, happy Monday. We're having a nice, cute little pool afternoon. And yeah, I figured why not go ahead and start the vlog in a new place? So welcome to a new weekly vlog. We've got a lot going on this week. So uh, as usual, hopefully I plan on, um, hopefully I will record all of it. Um, I'll tell y'all the agenda once we get in the house. I'm trying to keep eyes on the kids saying the pool is a lot going on. But yeah, um, so we're just out here kicking it. Um, as always, thank you guys for choosing to tune in. And if you are new here, welcome. If you are returning, welcome back. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and most importantly, subscribe. I'm trying to hit 500 subscribers by the end of the month. And we got about a week and a half until the month is over. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button because I can guarantee you that you're going to enjoy this. So anyway, um, yeah, I'll check back in when I can actually like have a conversation with y'all. But for right now, just enjoy the pool vibes and welcome to another weekly vlog. <laughs> Sit. Yeah. It's cold, yeah. <laughs> here, come on this side, guys. There's more space over here. Come around. Give me your hand. Keep going, keep going. Oh, yeah, right over there. Right over there. Right there. It's fine. Okay, cool. Uh, oh, nice little. <laughs> come on, you little entry key. You Welcome to another vlog. It is a new week. Once again, thank you guys for rocking with us. If you are new here, welcome. If you are returning, welcome back. Either way, new or old, you are a part of the squad. Make sure that you like, share, comment, and subscribe. And yeah, so we got a lot going on this week, so I'll just quickly tell y'all the rundown while I get the kids' bath ready. Um, we just got in from the pool. As y'all can see, Wait till mommy's done. You go play. Go, go. Um, so yeah, we just got back from the pool, so I'm pretty sure I look crazy, but whatever. I had a good time with my homegirl, Ashley. Hey, Ash, hope you're watching. It was literally a time. Like, we could not have picked a more perfect day and time to just be at the pool with our kids. So, a rundown of this week. So, tomorrow we're going to an event at Colony Square. Haven't been there in years, but they redid the square, there's like a food hall and stuff there now. This event um, for tomorrow is gonna have a petting zoo and then arts and crafts and stuff. So we're definitely hitting that up. And then Wednesday, well tomorrow is my husband and I, our four year anniversary, but he has to work. So we're gonna be celebrating our anniversary on Wednesday, May 22nd. We are going to dinner at Ray's in the city and then we're gonna do a little staycation. Shout out to my mother for holding us down. She will have the squad for about 
half a day and a night, my husband and I can have a nice date and get some sleep. So we'll be doing that on Wednesday. Thursday and Friday, we're probably just gonna like stay close to home. I do have an event that I found. Um, it's a touch a truck event, which is for kids. I might take the kids to that on Friday. We just gotta see how the rest of this week go because I also gotta fit some workouts in throughout all of this. Um, and then Saturday, we have a birthday party to go to my homegirl, Sam. Her son is turning one, super duper excited. I still cannot believe that she's about to have a whole one year old. The whole family will be at that one. Um, and then Sunday's church. And then Monday, which I might include in this vlog, I'm not really sure, but that's Memorial Day. We got a barbecue that we're going to with some friends and of course the squad. So that'll be fun. So yeah, we have a very busy packed week. So it'll be very different from my last vlog. Um, so I'm excited, lots of things to celebrate, birthdays, anniversaries, summertime, springtime, whatever you wanna call it. Like we're just super excited. So I'm gonna get back to these kids because they're starting to get on my nerves and not letting me talk. So I will holler at y'all in a few, bye. Good afternoon, good people. How y'all doing? Today is Tuesday, May 21st. It is mine and my husband's four year anniversary. So happy anniversary to us. By the time this vlog goes up, y'all would have already seen the anniversary vlog, but I made one really, really quick on the fly because it just like came to me as I was up late last night with your boy. Baby Jordan woke up, could not go back to sleep. I think he might have had a stomach ache. I'm not sure. I, I'm going off three hours of sleep, but it's all right. So, um, so far today we just did our normal, you know, wake up, breakfast. Um, I cooked dinner, so that's already done. Um, we had lunch, they took a nap. While they napped, I washed my hair, which is why it's giving Jerry Curl. It's giving Soul Glow. Just let yourself, See what's out here. Yeah, they got um, toys, little horsies. Wait, baby, wait, wait. Let's see. I see animals. I see ducks. Do you guys want to see the animals? But look, girls, it's I see animals. Look, I see some ducks. I see a sheep. Oh my goodness. Do you want to see the sheep? Hey, 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 come back this way, sis. I want to see the animals, Zara. You can touch it. Yeah. No, the, the bunnies, everybody's friendly. It's not going to touch you. You want to touch the bunny thing? Yeah. You can touch it. Yeah, I think Look. Right it's a little bunny. Yeah. See, you can touch it. Don't tell me inside. You mind if she's in the vlog? Oh, no. Okay. okay. I mean, she, I know she's famous. But I was like, let me just ask. <laughs> Look, do you want to touch? Look. See? See? She's very soft. Yeah. 
Uh, nah, what is this? You see the animals? Look, quack, quack, quack. It's just, it's just um, hay, straw, something like that. It's okay, baby. Look at the chickens. You see the little brown chicken? You be very gentle, okay? Touch the back, not the face. Touch his back. There you go. Good job, Zoe. Yeah. Oh, she's a baby. She's a baby. Don't stink. Hello, the boobs. Jordan. Okay, go ahead, girls. Low. Try again. Woo! Woo! Those were good. Oops, sorry. I did it! Yeah! Good job. That was a good one. What's up, y'all? Happy Wednesday. Happy hump day. The baby's following me. He got an attitude. I don't know what he wants. He's probably ready for a nap. So he's going to let that man just wander around the house. Um, and then I'm probably going to lay him down in a few. But I need to make my bed. Anyway, it's our anniversary celebration. Um, let me adjust. Hold on. Jordan. Yes, honey. It is the anniversary celebration. I think mentally I'm already at my little staycation situation, which is why I've just kind of been letting the kids do whatever. So I just came back from the gym about, I don't know, like two hours ago. It's, yeah, it's 10 o'clock. Oh, it's 1030, child. So yeah, I got back from the gym about two hours ago. Finally got a workout in for this week because as y'all know, last week was a struggle for me. Um, I am doing some laundry. I'm about to clean the kids' bathroom once my Target order gets here. So we can do a little Target haul. But I ordered some more cleaning supplies because I was out of my bathroom cleaner. So I've been struggling, child. I had a drop of some scrubbing bubbles left. And that's how I cleaned my bathroom last week. But now I got to hit that kids' bathroom. So... I need to clean the bathroom once my order gets here. What are you doing? Okay. Hey, man. I need to clean the kid's bathroom. Um, I've pretty much cooked enough food for them. We're only staying for the night. So, but I want to give them options. So, I think I'm just going to like, y'all know they love their beans and rice. So, I think I'm just going to do a little thing of beans because we already got rice. They've got chicken and vegetables. They got pasta, they got fish sticks in the freezer, all kind of stuff. So they've got options. I'm gonna start packing. You know, I'm gonna overpack because I'm a girl and that's how girl math goes. I'm staying for one night, so I need to bring five outfits. Like, duh. We're doing massages, that's the first activity. So I'm not gonna do my makeup because I'm gonna be face down. <laughs> oh, I'm being childish. I'm not going to put on any makeup. <laughs> um, and then the plan is to go back to the hotel, freshen up, do my makeup, get dressed. We're doing dinner at Ray's in the city. I've been to the one on the river with my homegirl, Janisha. Shout out to my pookie. Um, we had a little girl's date. No, back in the day, like way back in the day. Um, the men folk was just, they was wildin'. The men was unhinged. And so we were just like, girl... 
put your shoes on, grab your purse, let's go out to dinner. And that's exactly what we did. And we had a great time. And then I also went with my mother and my godmother, my mom's best friend, Auntie Son, shout out to you if you were watching. I took them there for brunch years, I mean years ago, years ago, when Auntie Son came down to visit us. So I've been to raise on the river for brunch and for dinner, love it. Haven't been to raise in the city for anything. So I'm excited to see how, you know, the difference between the two. I'm excited to have a sit down dinner that does not involve French fries and chicken nuggets and trying to occupy kids with the kids menu and tablets and all of those things. I'm excited to wear heels and a cute dress. Shout out to my good sis Ariel. I'm wearing one of the dresses that you gave me. No, 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 no. I'm wearing one of the dresses that you gave me. It actually fits very nice. It's my first time wearing like, you know, a night out number. It's like a cocktail dress. I haven't been able to wear those for probably since my last anniversary and I look like a whale. But I had just had a baby, so great. So I've dropped a couple pounds. We've, we've shifted a couple pounds. So I'm excited to see how this dress fits. Yes, I mean, I've tried it on, but I'm excited to like put it on, you know, put that on with the heels and the makeup and the accessories and all the things. The only thing I don't have is a bag. I need a small like night out clutch or like little, um, just a small bag. I don't, I'll find something though. And that's pretty much it, y'all, because we're parents of young people. We're tired most of the time. My husband is working right now. I'm obviously doing stuff with the kids and getting the house ready for my mother. So by the time we actually get this thing popping off, like we're gonna be hopped up on caffeine, maybe a little Celsius, you know, like I'm trying to have a little champagne toast. But for all of that, you gotta have energy, okay? So as much as I would like for there to be a third stop and like maybe step out, do a little one, two, on a Wednesday night. I don't know what the night scene looks like anymore for dinner or lounge, clubs, none of that. So I don't even know where we would go, what we would do. As much as I would like to like explore and see what's popping in Atlanta these days for the grown and sexy, cause I'm not trying to party with nobody's kids, sorry. You gotta give me throwbacks early 2000s, nothing past like 2016, summer 16. Nothing, nothing newer than that. <laughs> I'm very excited. I think we both are. We're, we're tired. We are tired. I'm about to have a second cup of coffee, child, and I done ordered, I'll show y'all in my Target order, but I ordered a cold brew, brown sugar, like Starbucks pre-made drink. It's the big one. I'm trying cold brews because it's less calories than like a latte, an iced latte, which is typically what I go for. But the YouTube girlies were like cold brews, less calories. So I said, well, if the YouTube girlies said it, then we got to do it. <laughs> so I ordered that and I plan on taking that with me to the hotel. We're going to have fun tonight. We're going to enjoy ourselves. We're going to have a good time. Hello. You say hello. <laughs> say hi. It's right there, baby. You gotta come over here. You say hi. Hi. Oh, I also need to try to get my nail fixed. I don't know if that's gonna happen, so I might just have to be ratchet out here with this one broken nail that I'm so upset about, like so upset about, especially because for the first time in four years, yes, because we've been married for four years. So for the first time in about three and a half years, we'll call it, stop, 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 stop. Get down. For the first time in about three and a half years, I was able to put my engagement ring back on. That's how fat my fingers have been since having them. I had to take it off and I haven't been able to put it on ever since 2020, like the end of 2020. So I'm super excited about that, but then I got a broken nail. So it's just like, but that's not important. That's so, ah, 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 ah. put it back in mommy's closet, please. Do not take it out of my closet. So anyway, that's not important. What's important right now is that I make this bed because it's almost 11 o'clock and I haven't made this bed yet. And um, I think I'm gonna go ahead and feed the kids and put Jordan down for a nap. I'm excited. Happy Wednesday, leg out. I just realized just how crusty my hair looks. 
like I washed it yesterday and when I went to bed it was not fully dry so I didn't pick it out I'm surprised I was able to actually get that done show we went to that outdoor play situation which was so much fun it was so freaking cute I have to tell y'all the story of how difficult it was for me to get out though like Midtown is clearly not meant for the children um, after a certain point like the elevator was shut down the bathroom was closed I had diapers to change baby it was an experience they were like we got this one event for y'all Zoe Zoe I'm talking Shh. they were like we got this one event for y'all from okay sure from four to six and then at six o'clock y'all got to go get in your SUVs and head back to the birds and then Zoe just give it to him now. Thank you. Don't let it fly away, baby. It's not gonna fly away, baby. We're inside. Now it's my turn. I said it's Jordan's turn. Let him play with it. What is it? It's all my stuff. Please leave it. Oh. It's to dry mommy's hair. Um, get the water out. Exactly, yes, it gets the water out. <laughs> they supposed to be watching Peppa Pig, is what's killing me. Hi mommy. Hi, sweetie. Close it, Zara. Stop, don't touch it, it's sticky. They're literally all just like dancing, playing with my mother's day balloon. No, like get out. Anyway, what I was saying is I didn't get a chance to like shape my hair and it's growing. Um, I think I need a thicker product though. Like I like Camille Rose. I use the curl maker. I'm not sure if I ever showed y'all what I actually use. It gives me that like jerry curl look. Which works for when my no for when my hair is short, it works really well. I've cut my hair several times throughout my life. And um I use this curl maker specifically when my hair is like this length. We'll call it the ice spice length, even though I've definitely done this before. But whatever, it doesn't matter. So when it's at this like heart shaped ice spice length, the curl maker works really well for my hair but once it starts to get longer I don't want the jerry curl look like that softer curl I want a little bit more defined as my hair gets longer this like wet curly jerry curl kind of look doesn't really work for me it looks better when my hair has like more of a I guess it's considered a defined curl I'm not really sure what you would categorize it as but Right now it's giving more wet and wavy and as it gets longer, it, it just doesn't, it doesn't look right to me. So I'm gonna need to find some new products. I really wanna try Sacred. Um, I also wanna try the full pattern line. I know pattern is not new, um, but I could care less about like what's new. I just wanna try different stuff that I've never tried before. I've always been a Cantu girly um so that's kind of like my go-to but yeah i'm i'm getting to the point now where i'm getting some more length she's always had body <laughs> she's always getting bod i need a cut i definitely need a trim because this shape like these pieces like what are y'all doing everybody out get off my balloon go watch peppa I already knew that was coming. Jordan, where are you going with my balloon? Can't leave with this. Give me this. Nope. I'm looking at our closet and I can tell my husband was like fighting for his life, trying to get ready for this meeting while also packing. <laughs> That's better. But like I said, I don't care. Let me go. Y'all already know what time it is. Girl, I'm struggling, okay? I had to sit down. Baby Jordan did not want to take a nap. But I finally, after the third attempt, got him in my room sleeping. I guess he's like, I don't sleep in there. I sleep in here with y'all. So we finally got him down. My Target order just came, so it's time for a Target haul. So we got some vegetarian beans for the kids. Come on, let's go. Potty break. Okay, and we're back. I was doing a whole lot of talking, but let me just jump into the Target haul and then I'm gonna go sit down because my energy is low and I need to... This is really good. It's one of my favorites. Zara, so let me see it. 
Because the fact that you chose to do this now is beyond me. There. Kids just, they find ways to just like totally disrespect whatever it is that you're doing. Anyway, this is the vanilla honey yogurt from Good & Gather, the Target brand. They've got a smoothie recipe on the back that I really want to try. But that's the Good & Gather yogurt. I don't know how to hold it. The yogurt was on sale, two for five. Of course, I missed out. There was only one left. Hate that for us. This is why we're here. So I got some um, Starbucks iced coffee. This we're gonna try for the first time. I'm actually gonna take this to the hotel. It's the cold brew salted caramel cream. So it's already pre-made. It's got everything that I need. That way I don't have to stop for coffee anywhere because I don't know that I'm gonna have time to do that. The creamer was on sale. This is my favorite. This is what I put in my iced coffee. So this is the combo. Coffee made natural bliss oat creamer. This I use in my hot coffee. Um, it's Coffee Mate Oat Creamer. I use I go between oat and almond. They were out of the almond one. Uh, and the Coffee Mates were on sale. So that's why I got two. I think they were two, four, eight. So you saved a couple cents there. Turkey bacon because this has been my jam. I've been having savory breakfast. So I'm either doing like a turkey, egg, and cheese sandwich or turkey bacon and some eggs on the side. So I got them some dinosaur nuggets, waffles for in the morning for the kids, black coffee for my husband. Let's see, I'm going to clean the girls' bathroom now that I have my Everclear, Everspring, Everspring from Target. Got some more wipes, some wet ones, some of my favorite plugins from Airwick. This is the, what scent is this? Blue Agave and Bamboo. One of my favorite scents, it just smells just, it just smells good. Toilet paper, Nino Baby. What is this? Prebiotic Oat. It's, I like this one because it's got coconut oil and shea butter, all very good for the skin and it smells really, really good. Some sponges so I can clean. Sandwich bags. Self-explanatory and some dish detergent. That's everything that we got from Target. I'm so sorry if my energy seems really, really low, you guys, but it is. It really is. I'm just gonna sit down for a few minutes. Thank you for joining my Target haul. Now the clock has begun. So I ended up taking like, I don't know, a 20, 15 minute nap because I just, she was tired, man. I'm not cleaning the twins' bathroom. I'm just gonna clean the toilet. Um, slush some cleaner around in there. Call it a day. Both my mother and my husband are on their way. So we are officially out of time. I think the bag that I want is up there. So let me get the ladder. And I knew this was gonna happen where I was going to get sleepy. We here now, so I'm gonna get this down. So we found the bag. My little Fui Vuitton, my Michael Kors Weekender. Shout out to when I worked at MK back in the day. So the dress that I'm gonna wear tonight is this little number. It's got a little ruching on the side, yeah. It's got a little like tassel kind of thing, cape, whatever. It doesn't tie. And then it's got like, it's like a shirt up top, so it buttons. It's long sleeve, even though I'm not gonna need anything long sleeve because it's going to be warm. It is warm. Um, I am gonna have to steam it, so I'll actually bring that hanger with me. Shout out to my girl, AJ, for hooking me up with this piece. I got my Fashion Nova shoes. If you follow me on TikTok or Instagram, for our last anniversary um, last year, I wore these same little shoes. I'll do a little, pop a little picture up. But I wore these same little shoes. We went to dinner at this place called Zakia up in Buckhead, Palm, Lebanese restaurant. Fire. I think that's it as far as shoes go. I'm gonna just bring my slippers as soon as I find them. And we need a bag. I'm gonna wear gold accessories. So I have this one like little clutch 
I think I see it. I have this clutch. It says Paris. It's a Parisian inspired clutch. Got this at Aldo years ago. Like, look how dirty. It's embarrassing how dirty this is. But the outside is still cute. So it'll go because it has like the gold hardware on there. Because um, every other bag that I have is either like a toad or it's got silver hardware and I'm wearing gold. I'm wearing my little Bottega dupes, a gold chain necklace. My heels are like a nude color. So yeah, so the bag, the bag will work. Yeah, it's gonna have to honey because that's all we got. All right, so we have our dusty makeup bag <laughs> with the dusty makeup inside. This is, shout out to my mother for this. I be getting gifted with stuff y'all, people really love me. Um, I'm gonna take the small one. Will my skincare fit? Hey, child, we're gonna make it fit. Travel lotion. My vitamin C one because it's smaller and it's closed already. Moisturizer. A couple vlogs ago, I got all of these serums and toners from the ordinary. Pads, like face pads. Um, makeup remover because the face will be done. Bottega dupes. Toothbrush. Toothpaste. I gotta get my birth control. Gotta have that. Deodorant, perfume, toiletries are all packed. And now we just need pajamas and that's it. Oh, the steamer, child. The steamer can't fit up in here. We got to carry that. All packed, so this is my everyday bag. This is my weekender bag. Quick little fit check. This set I got a couple years ago from my homegirl, Sky. She made this for me when I was pregnant with the twins. So it's a little big, little big, but it's okay. We, we're lounging, we're chilling. I got my hoops in. Yep. My mother and husband literally just pulled up at the same time. So we out. up to you too. I gotta put some makeup on. Like, for real. We made it to our first stop. We're getting our massages. Ooh. I forgot I had a broken nail. But yeah. We made it. So the massages went really, really well. I'm super relaxed. Probably a little too relaxed. Oh, it's not traffic, though. It's Since we're about to eat. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. That sounds a little... Better. I'm Trust like, Peach Tree Plaza. ain't no way. Proceed um, to Peachtree Road Northeast. Girl, we then got... turn right. But yeah, we're headed to our hotel now to literally just like do some makeup, throw on some clothes. I have seen my dress, um, so I'll have to quickly do that and um, head to dinner. So probably won't have time for like a room tour and all those things. We'll have to do that later. But um, yeah, I'm just gonna bask in this uh, massage, post-massage glow. Turn right onto Peachtree Road, Northeast. If the GPS would stop shouting, but yeah, we're on our way now. So we will <laughs>
morning everybody i'm trying to give y'all like the best view possible um i know the lighting might be a little funky but i'm in the hotel lobby um my husband is checking us out and we are headed back home to the babies we had such a nice night evening afternoon whatever you want to call it like everything went really really well for us um we had no hiccups the dinner was amazing shout out to our waitress anna at Ray's in the city like she took such good care of us we got blessed with a little anniversary dessert um it was just a really nice like intimate setting um you know nothing not a whole lot going on but it was just it was so nice to just be at a grown-up <laughs> restaurant with other grown-ups and celebrate mine and my husband's anniversary so we had such a nice time the massages were on point the hotel as y'all could see was absolutely gorgeous we were on the 60th floor of the Westin. we had views of atlanta okay like we could see stone mountain kennesaw mountain buckhead all of downtown and midtown like it was absolutely gorgeous gorgeous i did not want to leave that view and we slept for six uninterrupted hours like period so we're on our way back home don't know how much vlogging i'm gonna do today because there's not a whole lot going on today i'm just gonna be like cleaning up doing another grocery order um spending time with the kids editing just you know that kind of stuff um and then just getting us ready for the weekend because we do have a busy weekend so don't know when i'll check back in with y'all but i just want to say good morning and happy thursday What's up, y'all? I'm not gonna hold you. This is probably gonna be the only thing that I vlog today because it's just been one of those days. I think baby Jordan is either teething or he still has the ear infection, which I've been talking about for the last couple of weeks. Um, and so I need to take him to the doctor to see if that is still a thing or whatever because he woke up in the middle of the night. Luckily, I did get him to go back to sleep, but it wasn't until like 3 a.m. So you know how that go, your girl is working off very little sleep. Today's Friday, I just got my Walmart delivery um, delivered. <laughs> so I figured I would do a quick little haul with you guys. And like I said, that's probably it. But let's get into this haul. All right, so we eat this on a regular basis, but I got two of these because we're going to a barbecue cookout, whatever we call it these days on Memorial Day. And we're in charge of the burgers, almond breeze, almond milk. Got some cheese for a sandwich household. So I got two loaves of Sara Lee butter bread. The chicken thighs. I'm mad at the amount of fat that's on these thighs because that's already food that I'm not going to be able to eat. Like, I'm going to have to get rid of that. Some Eggos waffles. The kids have been destroying these. Peanut butter, applesauce, the two. Um, cans of green beans, carrots, extra calf coffee. Like I said, we eat a lot of sandwiches. So there you have it. Hand soap. I got some oatmeal, cereal bars. I got strawberry and I got apple cinnamon. Ketchup. I got the big thing of ketchup. My kids like a lot of ketchup. Whose kids don't like a lot of ketchup? Beans and rice, so vegetarian beans. Some egg whites, crema. Last thing is some apple juice. I'm gonna go ahead and put all of this away and then I'm gonna continue on with my day. You may or may not see me again, I don't know. It's just, it's that kind of day. Plus, it's not a whole lot going on that's different today. This weekend is where we have more of the activities, so I just kind of feel like, let me not waste y'all's time with my attitude, screaming kids and the boring stuff. And yeah, so, We'll just kind of, we'll just see, we'll see. I don't know, we'll see.
Good morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Not the baby toy in the bag. Um, hey, you guys. Today is Saturday, May 25th. It is 9.32 and I'm leaving um, the nail shop. I had to get my nail fixed. My girl, Jenny, squeezed me in. She did her thug fizzle and she um, like refreshed my current set. So I really don't have to go back and see her until like maybe another week, week and a half from now. So shout out to Jenny over at Nail Care Spot. I'm on my way to Target now to get a gift for the birthday boy. We're going to a birthday party later on today. I really hope it like clears up because it's very cloudy and looks like it's gonna rain at any moment. <laughs> And I don't know if this was an indoor outdoor situation, but it's like clouds be going. I'm pretty sure I'll see some like, some of my old co-workers, which will be nice. It's been years since I've seen some of these people. So, and we've had kids and gotten married and started new jobs and traveled the world and just lots of fun stuff. I'm just gonna run in and get this gift because I already know that if I like go down the textured aisle or they've got a sale the special where you can get three trial size beauty products you get the fourth one free i already got stuff in my cart and i was like Ooh. and i got a gift card so i was like oh i can look and browse and like get me some trial stuff i'm about to be out of moisturizer but i'm like you know what mm -mm -mm -mm. stay focused Stay the course. We're here for a birthday gift. And that's it. That's all we're doing. Because I told my husband I'd be home by 10 and it's 9.38. I think he wants to hit the gym. I need to hit the gym before we leave at 1 o'clock. And I'm starving, so I need to eat. So yeah, I can't be playing around. We, we are not playing in Target today. Yeah, I want to tell y'all about my night. So bad. But I also don't want to be on here just like talking about people because I realize that YouTube is a bigger platform. I've got people that watch me over in the UK, over in India, and um, you know, what goes on YouTube stays on YouTube forever. I mean, I could take it down, but I'm not going to. But shall I had a little run in with my neighbor last night? And I want to tell y'all the deets so bad. But what I'll do is, I, I did an Insta story about it um, because the story will delete. So I'm going to post it today because it's funny. I'm laughing at it now. Um, and because Instagram is a little bit more private, like it's people that know me like family and stuff. Y'all are the squad for sure, but it's more like personal Instagram. It's more people that I actually see and know on a regular basis. So I felt more comfortable posting a story on Instagram. Um, and then again, because it's gonna delete and I'm not trying to be on here just like gossiping, talking about people. Who knows, my neighbor might be watching. I don't know. Sorry girl, if you are. Um, but I'm gonna put it on Instagram today and by the time I put this vlog up, if y'all want see it <laughs> let me know in the comments and I'll repost it on Instagram okay because <laughs> it is it's like I said it's funny to me now but yeah it's it's quite the story it, it was an interesting evening to say the least I need to fix this side it's starting to get frizzy yeah I think I might need to go in and just like anyway my stomach is growling let's run up in Target and let's get up out of here so one of my friends, shout out to Ashley, put me on to the fact that this is like the dollar aisle. Like when you first walk in Target and you come to like where the dog is, it's the dollar aisle. Like I had no idea, no idea. But now that we know, <laughs> we know where to go. Thank you, Jordan. Um, I'm looking Oh, it's like all the Disney princesses. This is so cute for the girls. But I also like this bluey one. And they love bluey. 
Bluey be on point, y'all. Okay, Bluey be dropping gems. I love this. But I already know Zara's gonna hit me with a she wants a pink one. And they need like little water bottles that have the spout that won't spill. So, and they're very much so in their Disney Princess era, so I think I'm gonna just get them this one. Yeah. So I didn't see anything gift-wise that I liked. So now I have to go further into Target to go to the toy aisle. Like, why? Why? Like, the toy aisle is so far. And I just walk past the home section, the kitchen stuff. Like, this is torture because you know I want to just be in here now. <sighs> anyway, let's see what we got. Okay, so this is an option. My homegirl said he's into boy stuff, balls, things like that. So, and we like that price. So, that's an option. Okay, and we found more stuff. How cute are these? This is like a food truck. School bus. Jordan would love that because he loves wheels on the bus. An airplane. Like the girls would even like the little Barbie car. And they're on sale. Oh, this is why I didn't want to come all the way down here. Like, they've got some pretty good sales in here. So cute. Okay, we need to decide and hurry up. What's up, y'all? I literally just came on here to tell y'all that I recorded nothing at the birthday party. I don't know why, but well, I know why. Filming at other people's houses, especially people's homes that I don't know, have never been to. I'm a first-time guest. I'm not filming in somebody's home unless it's like they have said it is okay. And this was my home girl's son's first birthday. So it was kids everywhere. It was at her mother's house. I'm meeting her mother for the first time. Like, I'm not about to ask you, hey, do you mind if I film for my vlog in your house? So if you're mad at me, so, so sorry. But I just feel like that would have been tacky. So yeah, we got nothing. We got nothing, but it's okay. As you can see, I'm in my pajamas. Yes, um, it is 7.45. I cooked when we got home. I folded my towels when we got home, washed everybody, and I just washed myself. So now we're about to eat dinner and then I'm putting these kids in the bed. Hopefully everyone goes to sleep without any issues and I don't have to fight nobody. I ain't got to square up because we got church in the morning. So I will talk to you guys in the morning. Have a good night. I'm sorry, but can we get into this fro real quick? Like, I don't know if it's picking up well on camera, but the fro is throwing, okay? Like, she's giving, thank God I refreshed it yesterday because I don't know what was happening. Anyway, let me fix y'all. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Today is Sunday, May 26th. Um, I didn't do a whole lot of vlogging yesterday. I think I already said it. Like I was catching up with friends. I was in someone else's house. There were a lot of kids. It just was not the time to vlog. Um, but a time was had. It was so good seeing my homegirl, um, whose son's birthday it was like just the glow up of the group, child. We got kids, we got new jobs, we're traveling. They're literally about to go on an international trip next week. Um, some of my friends, another one is pregnant. And like, I literally met some of these girls, women, when they were like early 20s. And they're either in their 30s now, about to go into their 30s. They thought I was 33. <laughs> I said, you're too kind. Um, but yeah, like it was just, it was so good to just catch up with everybody and just have our families come together. Some of us are married now, boyfriends, like it's, it's the glow up for me. It's the glow up. I love to see my friends, family, loved ones just thriving. You know what I'm saying? And then one of my other homegirls, Titiana, she, um, tagged me in a post. 
in a story and she was just like whenever I'm doing like housework cleaning stuff like that I always tune into the blonde mom show and I was like yes make me a part of your home honey and I love that because number one I appreciate the shout out but number two she's also a YouTuber and we basically started together and we're just in the beginning stages you know like growing our platform just getting into the habit and the routine of just vlogging on a regular consistent basis finding our flow all those things and so I love that it's the beginning stages and we're just kind of going through this together so yeah, it's, it's love. It was all love yesterday. Anyway, I need to stop like chit-chatting with y'all too much because we got to go. It's like 8.15. Let me make my bed. My husband wants to be gone by 8.50. Um, he likes to be like the first one at the church. <laughs> We're so different in that regard because I'll be like, well, other people gonna be late, so why we gotta be there so early? Because that requires me to get up mad early, get these kids together. I'm losing out on sleep. <laughs> but no, we balance each other out in that regard because I would just be late. Um, but yeah, he wants to leave in less than an hour. He went to go put some gas in the car so that we could just go. No, no, no. No, no, no. No, no, no. <laughs> Stinky feet. So I'm in the process of switching the baby bag and my personal bag into one tote. It's not large enough, but it's bigger than what I currently carry. So I'm just gonna try it. I really, 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 um, I want the world, but <laughs> I want like my next purchase. I want to get a bigger tote bag. Um, I don't know what brand I want. I haven't gotten that far yet. It could be high ends or it could be target for all i care but i just want like a big mom bag that i can just put my my baby my mini mouse ball mini mouse what no her her ball came off no baby this isn't the one with the bow the one with the bow is in the car so just hold this one for now and we'll get the one with the bow later watch out Wait, don't push. Say, excuse me, baby Jordan. Excuse me, baby Jordan. Let me hurry up, Chas. We're going to drop him off so that he can do sound check and all the things that you saw in the last vlog. And me and the kids. Jordan! Um, we're going to Target. I have to get diapers. I realized that when we got home yesterday, I was like, ooh, we about to be out of diapers. So we need to get diapers. I'm pretty sure Target has some sort of special on the baby stuff so you already know like i told y'all let me actually talk to you like i told y'all yesterday i think they have where if you buy three trial size travel size items whatever um you get a third one i'm sorry you get a fourth one for free and we have a lot of time to kill between now and when service actually starts so I want to get something for myself. So anyway, let's go. We got about 30 minutes before my husband's going to want to be up out of here. I'm not trying to um, be left. <laughs> so let's go. The ghetto that is my life some days. I literally had to take one cart and I'm going the wrong way. I guess we'll start here. I had to take a single cart, put baby Jordan in the cart because he's in his car seat and then push that while the girls walked so we could get inside the store so that we could get the double wide but I'm in Target my happy place and it's peaceful so we're happy it's the buy three get one free section I was telling y'all about the Target in Douglasville and I think East Point and Smyrna have a much bigger selection, but we're gonna find something in here. So the little mini section, they don't have a lot. So I'm just gonna hold off on that because it's nothing I truly need except primer. I could definitely use a primer, but I'm gonna wait for my next Target run. Um, Cause I think they're still running that deal for like another week or whatever. I don't know, I'll double check, but it just wasn't worth it. It didn't make sense to like, get stuff that i didn't really want um just because they have a sale what i really wanted is the um what is it it's something molecules um they have a toner i forgot what it's called Child. 
my brain. But yeah, that's what I really want. So anyway, I'm just looking for the wipes and then we can get up out of here. But why the wipes are not with the diapers is beyond me. So good luck to us. Hold on. ended up leaving church early because I think we unintentionally discovered that baby Jordan has a peanut allergy. Long story short, the kids and I were in the back eating snacks. One of the snacks was a peanut butter cracker. And no, no throwing. Um, they, Jordan had never had peanut butter before, but he does drink almond milk, so I didn't even think twice about it. So the girls were eating the crackers. I broke off a piece, gave it to Jordan, he smashed it. So I gave him some more. Um, he ate like two crackers maybe in total. And within like 30 minutes, he started scratching his ear, which made me think it was his ear infection. So I gave him some Motrin. And then um, he started sneezing, his eyes got watery. He was rubbing his eyes, he warmed up. He was just so itchy, irritable, tired, terrible. So I tried to put him to sleep, put him, laid him down several different ways, held him several different ways, nothing was helping. So I told my husband after he got done singing, like, we gotta go. And I was concerned because he had these bumps like around his ear. So that's what was leading me to think that um, it was his ear infection because he was like scratching. But then I was like, okay, did he get bit by something? So I'm just going through all of the possibilities. Um, we ended up coming home, tried to put him down for a nap. But once I got him like in his diaper with no clothes on, he was kind of like chilling. We thought he was gonna sleep, went in the room to check in on him and he started smiling. And he jumped up and then we took him out. He had cooled off. Watch out guys, Jordan can't see. Um, let him out, he started playing, was like, what's up, let's dance. But we were like, let's take it easy, Pimpin, because we don't know what's going on with you. So we basically chilled here for like two hours three hours we got home at like 12 30. and then i called my mother and as i'm talking to my mother i'm just like retracing our steps and i remembered the peanut butter crackers and i was like everything that he was exhibiting was allergic reaction behavior and so i think he's allergic to peanut butter he's never had peanut butter before his sisters eat peanut butter and jelly sandwiches so again i didn't think much of it because he's been around people that are eating peanut butter no type of issue there. He also drinks almond milk, like I said. My mom has a nut allergy, so she can't be around, smell, or eat any kind of nuts at all. Um, but the twins don't have food allergies. So again, I did not think much of it, but I believe that baby Jordan has a peanut allergy. We are not about to find out by giving him more peanut butter. It's not gonna happen. He was, don't climb up there. Mm -hmm. Mommy got her ears on. I'm gonna be monitoring him for the next 24 hours, basically. Luckily, we didn't have anything else planned for the rest of the day, so we will just be here 
we're gonna have like a little house party type situation. Just put on some jams. My husband got the girls some cupcakes. Um, and we're just gonna party here and just have fun in the house until bedtime. And then if Jordan does well through the night and tomorrow morning and has a nap and all that, then we'll continue with our weekend, which will be the barbecue. So you probably will not see me again until then. If I do check in, it'll be because I have something to actually say. Other than that, peace out. What's up, y'all? I know that last clip probably looked so insane. And so do I right now. But what if? You know, this is the life. Um, thank you so much. Okay, go dance. Um, yeah, I just came on here just to like tell y'all what that last clip was about. So um, the last time I talked to you guys, I was updating you on Jordan, who um, unfortunately... As soon as I start talking, here they come. Anyway, so, Jordan, I'll be back. Let me, had to put on Baby Shark, because I'm like, y'all, get out. Anyway, um, so the last time I talked to y'all, I look insane. Like, why would I even come on camera like this? The life, child. But yeah, so the last time I talked to y'all, I was updating you on Baby Jordan and his allergic reaction. Um, so... Let's see. A couple hours went by. We monitored him. We were home. And then my husband's cousin hit us up and was like, and she had hit me up in the morning and told me that she was having like a little ladies barbecue situation. And I was like, yeah, I'll let you know after church. Well, obviously, once Jordan started like not feeling good, I was like, yeah, I forgot to even hit her up. So she ended up calling me and she was just like, OK, like, you know, I can bring y'all some food. Once I told her about Jordan, she was like, no problem. Like, I understand. I'll bring y'all something to eat. But we were still like dressed. I still had my makeup on. The girls were fully dressed. The only one that was like naked was Jordan. So my husband was like, well, why don't we just go over there? Because why not? <laughs> it was a beautiful, sunny day. Jordan seems to be doing so good so we ended up just like throwing everybody in the car um and heading over to her place and that's where we picked up the camera she was like why are we not vlogging it so shout out to cousin lynn for inviting us over um that was basically our dinner which was great the kids got to play outside because zoe was very upset when we had to leave church yesterday like crying the whole nine and it was just like zoe like you gotta understand i know it's hard for you to understand but jordan does not feel good like we have to go but she was very upset sis was not happy with us so i'm glad that we did get a chance to go outside and play in the yard and the bubbles and all the things um especially because child it's a whole like hailstorm outside <laughs> um today is monday may 27th so it's Memorial Day and we're going to a barbecue. Hold up. Okay, they're singing. So we're supposed to be going to a barbecue, but child, it is storming. It has been storming since last night. I ended up sleeping on the couch with baby Jordan because his he was fine from the allergic reaction, but he's had stuffy noses every night. Sinus pressure like your boy is is his nose is completely blocked at night. I don't know what that's about. So Needless to say, I will be taking him to the doctor this week just to get his ear and his nose checked out. Like, what's happening with my boy's sinuses? It's too much for my baby. So I ended up sleeping on the couch with him, sleeping on the couch with him and just like holding him and trying to give him as much, um, keep him as comfortable as possible because he was struggling. Like, I felt really bad for the guy. 
So, um, yeah, so now we're up. It's like nine, almost 10 ish. We've been up for a minute. It's storming. So I think the outside activities are kind of like dead. I know we're still gonna go because like, if the sun will be out and we've prepped for this, like the hostess has been prepping. We've got food that we're contributing. Other families are coming. So like, I'm pretty sure we're not canceling, but like, it literally rained on our parade. Anyway, I just wanted to update y'all because I'm pretty sure that last clip looked crazy and out the blue and just like, what day are we on? Like what's happening? Because we were just in the house monitoring the baby. Uh, we're still monitoring him. He seems to be okay. I really, really think that this ear infection though is still ongoing. And it's crazy because I was watching McKenna Walker, I think her name is on um, YouTube. She's uh, been a vlogger for a minute and she has three boys and her youngest is a couple months older than Jordan, I believe. And she said he's been dealing with an ear infection for a couple of months now. And, um, you know, they're, they're still trying to figure out like what could be causing it and potential hearing loss and just all these things. It was actually a very like sad, but intimate and, and like transparent video of hers that I was watching. And she was like really pouring her heart out about like life updates and stuff. And so one of them was that her husband had, her son has um, been fighting an ear infection for a couple weeks or months now and so i'm just like dang like what is happening with these ear infections like none of our kids have ever had ear infections jordan is the first one and this is it's got him in a chokehold like it won't let him go hey, mom, can't sure mommy's coming so yes yeah, so i'm gonna go ahead and continue i'm probably not gonna vlog until like we're on the move because mommy's making a video baby go out there because there's really not a lot going on it's the same same old same old um, I'm about to just make me some breakfast. I'm going to give them a snack and then we're going to get ready for lunch in like another hour and naps. So it's just like the same old regular schmegula degula up in here. And I will update you guys and check back in a little bit later. So I just... Yeah, I hear you on that. I, the thing I like about OKC, watching them. And Jordan, you don't want no smoke. <laughs> go, man. Go, go. Do cheers with your cotton candy. Do cheers all together. Oh. Cheers. <laughs> okay, all right, now eat. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> 